it is generally perceived that the Hollywood movies have stereotyped Muslims in a very negative way. Well, I believe that this is not first time that the Hollywood is doing something like that. Even before that, just go beyond 100 years and just try to look at it that how do the Muslims and especially the Arabs are being caricatured, are being uh, depicted for the audience of those societies, uh, that was also very negative. For instance, uh, the Arabs were mostly shown having, you see, uh, saddled on the camels and most of the time the deserts are being shown and most of the time uh, the people, those who are from, especially from the Arab world, they were shown in a very negative fashion having uh, some kind of negative attitudes towards the females. And there were people, those who were not educated and were anti to human rights. And they were the people, those who are having some kind of, you see, negativities towards the democratic norms and values. So these kind of caricatures were being drawn uh, about Muslims and especially about Arabs more than 100 years back. But when uh, Hollywood emerged, uh, that in fact started doing it in a very systematic fashion. And then a lot many movies then they develop. For instance, if I give you an example of uh, last more than 50 years or 70 years movies that have been generated and that have been produced in Hollywood, uh, Jack Shaheen is the one who has uh, given a very good documentary on that, Real the Bad Arabs. This is something that will help you explain that how Arabs were being depicted in various Hollywood movies. All negatives are associated with them. And these kind of stereotypical images, those who are normally considered to be the part of caricatures and some of the literatures available in the West, that was there. But then it was filmed when it was produced in a cinema-like situation that created a, you see, very negative image of Muslims and especially Arabs in the West. Latest, if we have to just look at it, that how do uh, in the latest uh, uh, movies the Muslims are being portrayed over there, especially after 9-11, you can see all the negativities as, as, uh, attached with the Muslims over there. For instance, you can see that Aladdin, the movie Aladdin that is showing Arabs in a very bad manner in the various movies of Aladdin, whether this is coming into cartoon fashion, whether this is coming into a normal feature films. Then Orgo is a very good example. Uh, here, uh, uh, the time of uh, revolution in Iran, how did uh, that create uh, a kind of negative image of Muslims? That's a very good depiction. The latest movie that is right now um, uh, on the screens, that is Zero Dark Thirty, where in Muslims are especially the scenes from Pakistan and the fr from Asia. These are very negatively shown over there. Again, uh, True Lies is a very good example that could be quoted to show that how Muslims and especially the Arab Muslims, those who are from the Middle Eastern world, how they are being depicted over there. So, I mean, uh, you take example of Zero Dark Thirty or Aladdin or Argo or True Lies and so many other movies like uh, 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 broken arrow. So, these all are neg full of negativities available and these are very, uh, 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 you can say the blockbusters movie uh, that spread across the world and earned a huge chunk of money for the producers over there. So, the, the portrayal of Muslims and the representation of Muslims in the Hollywood movies has most of the time been very, very negative. And recent, for instance, you can take example of the recent movies as well, like uh, some of the movies like Taken, uh, Taken 1, Taken 2 and Taken 3. Everywhere you can see that the Muslims are shown in a very negative way. So the, the, the kind of portrayal that the Muslims have in the Western movies and especially the Hollywood movies, that is creating havoc for the Muslims living over there. So Islamophobia in Western movies and especially the Hollywood movies, that is uh, with the time it is increasing and after 9-11, we can see a huge increase and huge surge where the Muslims are negatively being portrayed over there. It is also very significant to know that what made the Hollywood to construct these kind of movies or construct these kind of images in the movies, in the Hollywood movies? If you just look at the kind of situation that is now emerging in United States, especially where the right wing on the rise, where the, the political leaders are having a lot of discourses against Muslims, that is in fact enforcing them, the producers and the filmmakers, to go for negative portrayals of the Muslim. So we need to understand the political tendencies the political dialogues, the political discourses that are being generated over there, these are directly affecting the movies uh, in Hollywood. Another important thing which is uh, very important to be looked into and especially I would invite the scholars from the Muslim world, from the universities, that they have to look at it and they have to investigate it, that how the video games are portraying Muslims. Because this is something that is falling on 
very naive minds and they really do not have any idea that how the Muslims are and what the Muslims are. But in video games, they can see a villain and a hero. Always a villain is depicted in a way where uh, they are shown normally Muslim having the beard or having a turban on their head or head scarf on their women. Those who are considered to be playing a negative role over there, you will see that mostly these women are depicted as uh, Muslims women. Now, the Disney World, I mean, you can see that the Disney World is producing a lot of cartoons where the Muslims are shown in a very negative way and in a villainous fashion, you can say. So, this kind of thing is in fact spreading all across and creating a mind which is from its very early age anti-Muslim. So, Islamophobia or you can say the negativity towards the Muslim is now being inculcated in the minds of the people from the early age. So, when they grow up and when they see these kind of situations through their media, so that got concretized and ultimately uh, they resort to some kind of racial attacks or seclusion of Muslims in their societies.